In this part, I'm going to do simulation on example we have solved in previous section. So, first of all, I have to define parameters for my amplifier. So, if you click on your amplifier, you know that you can define your S parameters. So, these are the S parameters of our example. And if you scroll down, you can find your NF mean. So, it's going to be 1.6 dB. S opt here in ADS is actually... Uh, equal to gamma opt. So when you see uh, when you see S opt, it means gamma opt. So that don't get confused. A little bit tricky. Uh, it's written S opt for some reason. So I write polar 0 0.62 and 100. So my magnitude is 0 0.62 and phase is 100. And Rn is equal to 20. You can define this. And if you want to see this parameters on a schematic, you can just check this uh, display parameter on a schematic for each of them. So if you want to, for example, display Rn, you check and other ones too. So apply, okay. So now I have my NF min, S opt and Rn. In order to calculate the noise uh, for my device, I have to go to S parameter and the noise part, you see it says calculate noise and this is off. Generally, you just have to turn it on and put uh, and write down the noise input port. So input port is one. The output port is 2 and the rest, you're not going to basically change them. Apply OK. So you can do a simulation here. If I do simulation, I will be uh, able to see my S parameters in uh, uh, using a table. And if you want to check your other parameters like NF min, so uh, it's automatically there. You can choose NF min, uh, you can f uh, actually find the value. Or uh, what about the uh, the Rn? You can also check your Rn. Add OK. So Rn is 20. And uh, also you have your S opt. So your S opt uh, here is going to... I have to raise this. S opt is gamma opt. And it's going to uh, be this value as you see. 0 0.6200. 100. First I'm going to start with stability. We have to check our stability. So I'm going to do... Uh, my uh, S, uh, to go to my S parameter palette. So simulation as parameter and from here you are going to choose your mu in order to check the stability. So you uh, do simulation and you check your uh, stability. So here I add and it's 1.68. It means that it's more than one. So your amplifier is unconditionally stable and it's perfect. You just uh, you can put you can use any impedance you want at the load and source. So the next step to uh, draw the circles. So I'm going to start with the noise figure circle. If you scroll down in the simulation as parameter uh, palette uh, in uh, in noise uh, in in the bottom part there is an NS circle. You can use this NS circle. So now if you check your NS circle here, uh, you have some definitions. You're not going to touch them, but here you can uh, define your desired. Uh, uh, noise figure and we said that we want to have a 2 dB so I'm going to put this 2 this is in dB format and save it so I can run a simulation and here I, I I'm going to do on this uh, on the same smith chart so here if you go you can check NS circle 1 add so as you see this is the same circle we have obtained in our example so now what I'm going to do is uh, I will draw. I will draw the uh, the GS circles, the gain circle at the source. So if you remember, we did this many times. So uh, I will have one, one point five and one point seven dB. So uh, now. I Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rahsoft would provide the Rahsoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.